Howdy there once again, YouTube. I'm Ben Ferriolo, and I am back just to talk about one thing real quick. We had a fairly large earthquake, an 8.2 magnitude at 0019 UTC 819 2018 at 563.4 kilometers in depth. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. We got five aftershocks around the 5.4 to 5.0 range, and a lot of them, they're all pretty deep. Especially the main shock one. The deepest one was the 4.9 it's looking like right about now. So that's pretty crazy. So let's go to the seismographs online real quick just to have a quick overview. And there it is right there. And let's go back and show White PM. That was Maple Creek that I just showed. Here's Purple Mountain I think it is. You can see it right there as well. And let's go down to Moose Creek, Idaho. These four seismographs I am showing are going to be the ones I'm going to show in Jama Size and Swarm, just real quick. And then where to go? YLT, here it is. All right, so that was pretty interesting. Very, very deep earthquake event. So let's go check it out real quick. Let's go backward. Okay, so we're on Jama Size right now. This is uh, four lines, five minutes per line. The magnification is set to 15. Oh, let me change that real quick. This one is not set to 15, but now it is. All right, let's go back. It happened at about 0019. Oh, whoa, did I skip it? I think I did. Oh, yeah, here we go. There it is. Look at that, guys. Yeah, it was a very strong 8.2 earthquake at 563 kilometers in depth. And you can see a few of the aftershocks did show up. But man, it really shook up the entire planet. Wow. Let's go back a little bit. And back one more time. And I want to go to settings and spread out the waveforms as much as possible. So let's do one minute per line with four lines. Wow. Yeah. Very strong earthquake, guys. Now, real quick, I'm going to show MCID, Moose Creek, Idaho, and YLT on Jama Size. But I'm going to pause this real quick and come back to it because it takes a long time sometimes for my computer. My computer is very slow and Jama Size likes to freeze a lot, which gets a little frustrating sometimes. And here we are, the other two seismographs or sources finally loaded. The, this is the other two seismographs I showed from is this thing on .org. This is MCID, Moose Creek, Idaho. And YLT, Little Thumb Creek. YLT resides uh, about 13 miles south of YML, Mary Lake, and resides right above the magma chamber at Yellowstone. So we're going to go see the signature of this earthquake. Oh, and this is five minutes per line once again. Magnification set to 15 for both. You can see the earthquake right here in 8.2. I think they just downgraded it to a 7.9, actually. Actually, let's go check that. Let's see if they did downgrade it. Let's refresh. Nope, it's still an 8.2 with multiple aftershocks. Oh, and we just had another 5.8 at 622 kilometers deep. Wow. Definitely got a deep earthquake event going on. Don't know what that means, but let's go back to jump size. And this is the waveform for the event. So let's go forward a little bit. And let's go back. And let me go to file, settings. Got four lines. Let's do one minute per line to spread out the waveforms more. And let's go back to the beginning where the P wave was. Let's go down. Yep. Very, very large event, guys. So don't know if more earthquakes are approaching. We could see another deep earthquake event brewing. Hopefully another earthquake swarm doesn't start at Yellowstone. <laughs> All right. So let's go to swarm real quick. I'm going to open just MCID's file real quick. Let's go to JAMA size data which is all the data that's downloaded from the stream on Jama Size is downloaded in .sac form automatically. Let's see, where is it? MCID, there you are. Let's go 2018, 8, 19, and when did it occur? Let's do 0 to 1. Open, MCID, here it is. Let's go forward a little bit. Let me change that, uncheck that, and here we go. All right, wow. Maximum amplitude count of 30,000 for a distant earthquake. That's pretty large, guys. Wow. Let's see the spectrograph real quick. <whistles> yeah, I got a maximum hertz of 25 on this one, too. Remember, spectrographs record frequency, the time period, and the color is power. 
Look at that. Wow. Very strong event. Very deep event. Definitely vibrated through the whole Earth. Probably went around the world multiple times. I mean, that's pretty crazy, guys. Let's check one last thing real quick before I end this. So I'm here at the Earthquake Catalog. I have 7.0 magnitude and above since 1980 on January 1st for the world. But down here, I have the minimum depth to 550 kilometers. So this will show all earthquakes magnitude 7 and above since 1980 that occurred deeper than 550 kilometers. So let's see how many there were since 1980 above magnitude 7.0, deeper than 550 kilometers. Only 36. Wow. With the most recent, of course, being the 8.2. Wow. 7.8, 8.35. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we got it's only 36 since 1980, though. So that's pretty interesting. I love the earthquake catalog. You can see all past earthquakes. All right. Well, guys, I think that's about it. Please check out my recent videos, including my recent two-part video showing how to download seismic data and review it in programs like the two programs I used in this video, Jama Size and Swarm. So go to my channel, click videos, check out my recent videos, guys, see how I'm doing. Uh, I will be back once again. I'm actually making my own website right now. It's kind of like a blog slash website. It's going to have all the information I put out in my videos pretty much and a bunch of other goodies. It's still in active development right now. It'll probably be a good month until I publish it. So... Just keep an eye out for that, and I will be back soon. Stay safe, and hopefully no more earthquakes appear. I hope not.